Hi guys, this is eyewitness account. These are accounts that I've seen with my very own eyes of the goodness of the Lord, of His faithfulness, of His power to heal and His power to deliver. Now, there's, this is, a, I'd say about 15, 15 years ago, 15 years ago there was a couple who used to come to our church um, and they'd conceived um, and so they were baby was in the womb and we were all excited and I mean but I suppose at the time I wasn't that invested because I was busy with other things you know and then we, uh, the, the wife came and requested prayer because the, the doctors said to her that the baby's internal organs were outside of its physical body and they weren't sure if the baby was going to survive or what or, or when or this had this there would be so much that had to be done and so I remember when we heard this, everyone in the church really, really dug in and, you know, began to seek God for His mercy and His grace, for God to heal and for God to deliver and for God to do great and wondrous things even in, in that baby's life. The miraculous thing was the baby was born, the baby lived. Okay, um, the, the, couple, the couple moved on, moved on from Cork and they went to, they went to a different city. Um, and so that was, that was the last we'd seen of them. Um, so, fast forward 14 years, right? uh, it's, it's now Friday, it's a Friday night, we've got our men's breakfast which is happening on the Saturday morning. So as is, as is my custom, as, uh, as I should do and as I must do, um, I'd go in before on the Friday night, I'd go in and we take up the musical instruments and we'll try set up as much as we possibly can the night before. Um, so that on the morning you're fresh, but, but I noticed I noticed something about the, the 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 night manager. He looked somewhat familiar. And I remember he came to me. He came to me. Says, "Hey, Andy, do you remember me?" And uh, I said, "No," but the face looked familiar. He said, "Your face is familiar." He said, "I'm such and such." He used to come to, he used to come to Donnybrook Pentecostal Church. I said, ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, now I said, I said, yes, 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 yours baby, yours boy was. He said, yeah, oh man, I said, I said, how's the boy? He says, oh, he's 14 years old. He's running around, he's doing this, he's, 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 he's perfect. And I said, wow, that's fantastic, man. Jeep is all that, oh, the Lord is so good, the Lord is so faithful, the Lord is so kind. I'm happy. Service goes on, we have our men's breakfast that morning. <clears throat> Now it so coincided that at the same day uh, we were having our ladies, our ladies conference. Our ladies conference was either that day or the following Saturday, and so as again as 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 our men, a few of our men would go to the ladies conference just to be security on the door and to make sure everything is running smoothly, and so. We were there at the ladies conference, so there are people from different parts of the country. So there was a lady who came from a different part of the country. She, she, she had a, a, a Zimmer frame um, because she was unable to climb the stairs, so she was in the lift. So someone comes on and says, Andy, the lift is stuck. Now I, 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 now I, I, I knew how to get it going again, so, so we went there, we went there. Oh no, no, they said there's two ladies stuck in the lift. So he said, don't panic, this, that, and the other. Don't, don't, don't worry, we went and we did what we, we did and we got the lift moving again. And so the two ladies that were in there were taken out. And so they were, they were, they were elderly ladies, they were a little bit flustered about it. Um, and so they were, sitting, they were sitting outside of the lift. So now I knew, I knew that they were flustered. I knew that one had the Zimmer frame and all that. So, so I went and I got some water to take up to them just to you know just to just to be hospitable so that they have a lovely experience in our church you know um, <clears throat> so we went there took the water to them and I noticed, I recognized the lady because we'd seen at summer fire conference and so we we're chatting and this and that and the other and this and the other so how's things going all's well all's well all's well do you need anything no we're fine do you, do you take as well anyway as the water can we bring your sandwiches no 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 everything's okay we'll just wait here because the rest of the ladies had gone out for lunch um, then the lady says to me you know, can you can we pray for my daughter, my granddaughter? I say, oh yeah, yeah, she's pregnant. Oh good, good. Oh, bless the Lord for that. That's great news. What baby you're expecting, and this and that and the other. Then she turns. She says, we got some bad news that that the baby's internal organs are outside of the body. <laughs> I 
said to him, you know what? And now at, at, at this stage, at this stage, my mind is blown because I'm thinking, he has a guy I hadn't seen for 14 years. All of a sudden now I see him and then the week later, there's a woman who needs encouragement. I said, tell your, tell your niece, tell your granddaughter this. Tell your granddaughter that, that we've seen someone who went through the exact same thing and God was able. She said, but my granddaughter's not saved. I said, no, that's, that's not our problem if she's not saved. Uh, we're going to pray and we we'll trust God to do a wonderful thing. And th we, we prayed, we prayed just there. With these ladies who were stuck in the lift. Again, the timing of God, the way he does things is just phenomenal. So that was finished. The lady rang me later. The uh, lady sent me a message. The baby's born. The baby's fine. The baby got a couple of operations to go through, but the baby's fine. The baby's fine. Each, each, each milestone, she sends me pictures. This is the baby. God has delivered. God has done a wonderful thing. This is the baby. This is the baby. The baby is now 18 months old. This is our baby. This is our baby. And you know, again, I, 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 I just look at it. And I'm just so amazed at the faithfulness of God, at the goodness of God. Who, firstly, the first 14 year old boy that God healed him. And not only healed it, but set a precedent of hope and of courage and of and, and, and of a reason to believe. And then for him to introduce me to his dad again, just to remind me and to give me further evidence and further proof because the following week we were due to meet with that lady who's, who, who was going to tell me about her granddaughter and her great granddaughter that was in a similar situation to that 14 year old boy was and God proving again that he did it 14, 15 years ago, he'll do it again and he did it again and that child is living. And now, and the child will continue to live by grace and we will boast of his goodness that he did it before, he'll do it now. And the next time that happens to someone else, we'll tell him God has done it to two people before, he's healed those two before. And this, and this is the legacy of what God is establishing in my heart and in your heart. He's establishing faith, he's establishing belief, he's establishing a trust and understanding to know that he's done it before, he'll do it again and he'll do it again and he'll do it again because he's merciful. I just want to give God all the glory and the honor for allowing me to even see this with my own eyes. And each time the lady, each time the lady sends me a, a, a photograph of the baby or an update of the baby, um, I smile because this is the goodness of the Lord. And my eyes have seen, my ears have heard, my lips have touched and tasted of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living.